All sharks of all sizes are absolutely not dangerous. Um, in fact, there are approximately 444 species of sharks uh, found around the world, and the largest shark species, the whale shark that grows to 40 feet long, it's a plankton feeder. It, it eats the smallest food item in the world. It's a microscopic shrimp. And the second largest shark is the basking shark. It grows to 25 feet long, also a filter feeding animal that eats plankton. Sharks are found in different depths. They're found in deep water and in shallow water off the coast of Virginia. They're not that common. We don't see them that much around here. Um, but when people encounter a shark, they're more likely to encounter them in, sh in shallow water because the people are in shallow water. When we have tourists that come to the coast here, they're swimming in probably waist deep water and the majority of the people are in very shallow water. Fatal shark attacks are extremely uncommon. In fact, encounters with sharks are highly unusual, very uncommon. Um, I think globally, it's, there's approximately five to 10 uh, fatal shark encounters uh, around the world. So when you, when you think about that and put that into perspective, it's, you're more likely to win the lottery, basically. But in terms of a shark attack, 130 people a year are killed by deer, and five people on average a year are killed by vending machines that fall over. So it's, it's extremely unlikely. And off the Virginia coast, we're in one of the safest areas in the mid-Atlantic, a very safe area, uh, highly unlikely to even see anything like that. All of the beaches in the Hampton Roads area, the oceanfront and Buck Grove Beach, all of these beaches, they're safe. They're very safe. There's not one that's more of a risk to swim in than the other. Your, biz your biggest risks are the water conditions. And so what we recommend is that swim in an area that's guarded by a lifeguard. Our lifeguards are very well trained here and they're a tremendous source of information to tell you about the water conditions. So swim near a guarded area and swim within your means. If you're not a strong swimmer, don't go in over your head. Swim with friends or, or other people that you're with to make sure that you're in a group. Stay away from fishing piers and things like that where people are casting lures and, and, and hooks and weighted uh, baits and things like that. But also around fishing piers, if people are using bait, that might attract other types of animals. So stay away from those areas. Don't swim early, early in the morning and don't swim at dusk or after dark. Those are some of the best things that you can do. But most importantly, swim in those guarded beaches and know your limitations. In terms of climate change, there's not enough information to know whether or not that has any impact on sharks and shark encounters off of coasts anywhere around the world. And as far as the regulations, without regulations, sharks would be in even more dire peril. Most people don't realize this, but on average, 11,000 sharks an hour are killed in the shark finning industry. That equates to between 100 to 200, or 100 to 200 million sharks a year die for the shark finning industry. Shark fin soup is a traditional soup with no nutritional value, very little flavor, but it's used traditionally during special events in certain parts of the world. And because of that, there is a significant decline in sharks around the world. Without these regulations, that apex animal, that one at the top of the food chain that's so important to our environment is disappearing rapidly. If you're interested in really learning about the sharks along the Virginia coast, come to the Virginia Aquarium. We have a spectacular exhibit, the Norfolk Canyon, and we'll teach you all about our local shark population.